Hey guys, I'm uh, I'm a little pissed off right now because I um, I ran FreeBSD update yesterday uh, to update my system from 11.1 .1 release to 11.2 release, my desktop system that is, and um, I don't know what I did wrong, but I botched it, and I'm kind of I've just spent a good part of a full day. Uh, trying to get everything back to normal again. I lost all my uh, a lot of my work, my actual work, and uh, dot files for like I had. Um, I was using Awesome Window Manager on that one, and I uh, had it really. I had a lot of customizations done to it, and and I didn't save it stupidly, and so I lost it. So anyway, I'm I'm here now on a fresh install. Um, I thought I'd just talk about really quickly, um, Newsboat as a sort of as a front page to the internet um, because I, I use it and I, I think I don't think a lot of people realize it's not just an RSS feed reader it's not just for it's not just for following blogs you can actually um, well I mean it's pretty well known that you can follow podcasts in it as well so you can use an RSS uh, feed from a blog to follow blog posts as normal as you can in any other RSS reader uh, feed reader um, but you know, with podcasts, you can also um, you can also subscribe to podcasts. You can go in here. You can um, it has a, a program that's kind of part of it called uh, Podboat. So you can enqueue a podcast like this, then run Podboat like so. And um, oh, where is it? Anyway, so you can come in here. You can download it, and then you can play Why the file. Why does my daughter need to know the surface area of a rhomboid? Um, really cool for podcasts but the thing I guess I want to talk about um, today is uh, YouTube and Reddit because uh, you can actually subscribe to YouTube channels as well with um, with Newsboat and uh, the, the way that I do this I'll show you first of all it in action um, if I come in here and I go to one of this guy's videos I can press on the um, I've got a keyboard maker set up for MPV and what it will do is actually stream the YouTube channel directly in MPV right here. And yeah, so I never really, I never actually have to go into YouTube in my browser. Now um, the, the whole moral of the story is you can just, you can add it here like, and I'll show you how I do that. If I come over to this channel, I was just on Kai Hendry's blog then, um, sorry, YouTube channel then and, and added that one. But I'll add this one here as well. So if I take the YouTube channel URL and add it into this, um, this site here is podsync.net. If I just add this channel here, it will um, give, it will actually form a, um, create a, a feed URL for me. And then uh, actually I actually don't need to do that. I just come over here and go um, to the URLs file come down to YouTube and let's say we add it just here so I add the, f the feed URL and then um, if you do um, if you put a custom name in um, quotation marks you've got to put a, a tilde mark at the beginning like so so I usually I just label it YouTube and then I'll put um, this one's TG Logan like so and then if I save it to get out a newsboat and reload it. You see it's added the, the new YouTube channel here. It'll take a little while to um to update. Um yeah so you can you can watch YouTube from here. Um uh pretty straightforward. I don't know uh, I don't know who owns this website but it's super useful. Maybe there's an easier way to get a feed out of a YouTube channel URL but this guy has made it possible. Um made it easy rather um, I'll just wait for it to, to reload and you can see, um, I've got it, um, capped at 20, um, 20 items too, cause otherwise it just takes forever. As you can see down here too, there's a, a I've set up a dunce notification. So every time there's a, an unread, like when it reloads and is, has unread articles, I get a little notification in the corner. Um, so yeah, th and then I've got this here and can do the same thing again with the keyboard maker. I'll show you how I set that up. Mm. So 
this is all on their uh, on their their get to the the instructions for this. So all I did so for notify program we use notify send um, to get that dunce notification. But then down here in uh, external programs, you want to set player to MPV. Um, I use the text-based browser W3M because I don't want a Firefox instance popping up every time I open something. And um, and this is how I set the macro. And this is all on their uh, on their Git README. Um, so that's for that's for YouTube. Now if I if I just show you Reddit, um, you can actually. I didn't know this, but you can subscribe to a, a subreddit uh, really easily in Newsboat by, um, let me open this up again. You just put the, um, the URL of the subreddit in and just attach .rss to the end of it and then give it a custom name the way that I have. You, well, you don't have to give it a custom name, but um, yeah, and you can subscribe to it that way. And then if I, you know, if I wanted to go into that and, and read the comments on that post in subreddit, or that, that, uh, yeah, that post in the subreddit, I can come in here, I can see the comments. Um, there are actually, I do like to use the RTV uh, Reddit uh, command line tool um, program, which is which is a little more intuitive. But you know, if you just if you're just interested in reading the content of a subreddit without actually um, without all the extra, you know, the upvoting, downvoting, um, commenting, and all that sort of stuff, then then this is a great way to do it. So so really. The moral of the story is Newsboat is more than just a, a simple RSS reader. It can, it can be your your front page. You know, if you don't want to leave the screen, and 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 why I, I try not to. Um, you know, I try to just stick on this screen as much as I can, and and just um, you know, if I can do as much as I can in in a terminal window or two terminal windows, and um, you know, without opening a whole bunch of extra stuff and browsers browser windows and, and so on, then, uh, then I'm happy. And especially on my laptop, which is, uh, you know, I mean, on this machine, I can handle a lot more, but on my laptop, I, you know, the, the less is more, less is better. So yeah. So if, um, I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to, yeah, I mean, if there, if there are any other little tricks with Newsboat that I, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of stuff that you can do here to configure it and make it, um, do some pretty cool stuff. Um, but this is how I use it. It's really cool.